So Bert's movie, The Machine, was finally released after being delayed for a while, and it's having a tough first week. I watched it a couple of days ago on, in a nearly empty room, and I was pretty offended. I thought more people would have shown up, and although it did have massive competition like Fast 10 and The Little Mermaid on a Memorial Day weekend, it still did have the massive Rogan Sphere marketing machine uh, behind it, which is able to sell out arenas, so it was a little bit concerning. So in this video, we'll take a look at how the movie is performing, if the movie was actually good or not, and if Bird has an actual shot in Hollywood. So, let's get it. Do it for Joe, guys. Do it for Joe. <laughs> Do it for me. Prove that he's the most. <laughs> well, I just think it's a funny movie, man. It's a good movie. It's, it's an action. It's going to be fun. It's a big action comedy that needs to be seen on the big screen. And, and I... I and, and, I think it's. I think people will be surprised at how fun this movie is. Like I didn't understand any of the process. Kind of someone said to me, "What's the key to making a movie in Hollywood?" And I said, "Shut your mouth." <laughs> I go, "Do not say a fucking word." I go, "Just let the, everyone do their jobs." Shut your fucking mouth. It happened. And it happened quick on this one too. It did. I remember. This I was, was a. This was a. It, uh, they don't all happen this fast. Yeah. And then. Yeah, it snapped together. I remember yeah. when I was doing the reshoots. Yeah, I mean, oh. I met on it. The first time I read anything was August of 2020. And February of 21, I was on a plane to yeah. Serbia. So, I mean, that's fast. Dude. Every movie has a window. Yeah. And, you, and our job is to understand when that window avails itself. Now, the movie is exactly what you would expect from an action movie, except with some funny scenes sprinkled throughout. It's more like a John Wick meets Jack Black if Jack Black was a horrible actor. Even though the movie was made extremely quick and it has a very cookie cutter uh, story behind it, the movie looks great. It looks like a Hollywood movie, a $20 million movie. And I really enjoyed Mark's and Eva's characters, uh, which I think carried the movie on their shoulders. Eva Babic was completely insane. Her acting was amazing and she was carrying Bird in every single scene. And obviously Mark, I mean, it's Luke Skywalker, so I mean, the cast was was good. And with a $20 million budget, the fight scenes were pretty impressive. And they had some unique stuff, like uh, the way they, they handle the subtitles and also the flashbacks that essentially tell the machine story from a young Birch's perspective, uh, which the actor also did a very good job at. However, all of that was heavily impacted by Bert's performance. I never wanted to be an actor at all. I had no interest, and I just wanted to do stand-up and podcasting. Mm. And then I did the movie, uh, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I had so much fun. Which movie? My movie, The Machine. Oh, okay. Coming out Memorial Coming Day out. weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. First thought was like, I want to watch people, good actors. So I, I worked with Mark Hamill from uh, Luke Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. Luke Skywalker Luke. plays my dad. And I was like, oh, yeah. Luke plays your dad? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big $30 million movie. And it's like yeah. a legit movie. We have one kissing scene. <laughs> we do the first kiss, and I'm, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, you know. And she's like, hey, you know, really go for it. Like, really go for it. And I was like, for real? She's like, yeah, like try, like try to like knock me off my feet, like kiss me. So I was like, okay. I'm not thinking about it. I'm like, bam, 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 bam. Walk up, whoom, and as soon as, and then she kissed back, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? This is different. Holy. Shit. And then I'm like, ah, costume change. <laughs> I need tape. I need tape. <laughs> hey, someone get me ice. Is that? Are you allowed to talk about that? I'm not sure if this was a case where it was a non-negotiable that Bert was the main lead, the main actor, or if the team around him actually thought that it was the best move. Because from a marketing perspective, I guess it makes sense. You want Bert to be on the big screen so he can promote it and hope that the movie does well. But his acting was so bad that it was actually distracting at some point. And listen, I don't know much about acting, but whenever you see Bert in the same shot as with other people, with other working actors, there's a clear night and day difference and there's just an undeniable contrast. It, he just feels out of place the entire time. It, it almost feels like one of those videos that people make with the green screen where they'll edit themselves into a movie scene and although it looks good, the quality looks perfect, it, there's just something off about it. Now, to be fair, it is pretty impressive that they were able to create a plot line that fits the machine story. And although it is not perfect and it's, they're not going for realism, Something that did bother me that doesn't add up is that the movie is supposed to take place in a universe where Bert uh, is sober or has been sober and is no longer the machine. But uh, whenever you look at Bert on camera, he looks like regular Bert that just literally 
had a party last night and, and is hungover. So it's just kind of funny that he didn't prepare for that role. By the way, if you like what you're seeing so far, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. I just go like, oh, there. Leanne was in Serbia, and they were like, hey, you have a kissing scene today. I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, you're with your wife. And I was like, shut up. I was like, w w is that cool? And Leanne's like, yes, yeah, you're an actor. I was like, yeah, but I haven't cheated on you in, like, ever. Like, I haven't kissed someone in 20 years. She was like, it's just acting. And I was like, okay. All I'll say is uh, the pants I was wearing were loose fitting and I don't wear underwear. <laughs> oh, Bert. We did one take and I was like, costume change, please. <laughs> They're like, what? I was like, I need to change my pants. I guess I'm not an actor. I'm just a regular dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Bert. <laughs> They're like, They're like, huh? And I was like, I don't know what. You're supposed to do. You're supposed to kiss someone and then just like, how the f does that work? <laughs> you ever kiss someone? Your body doesn't know that it's just acting. No. 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 How could it? Yeah. Also, the fact that the movie was made in about a year and with Bert as the main as the main lead in the movie makes me think that it was more of a business move to try and capitalize on his massive success at the moment instead of uh working on something that he was passionate about and you might be thinking duh obviously that's what that's the goal of every movie is to make as much money as possible and sure but it's a whole different beast it's a whole different thing and it clearly showed obviously we won't compare it to the big movie titles but instead to three other off-brand movies that also released uh this past weekend one of them being Sebastian's movie, which Bert is just a little bit under um, when it comes to how much money they have made, which technically is not that good. It's a flop when it comes to movie theater releases. However, when it comes to scores online and overall reception, the movie is doing pretty well. It's not doing so bad. And overall, it's not a bad movie, especially if you enjoy Bert, then you will definitely like the movie because it is a pretty fun movie. There are never any high stakes throughout the movie. Uh, Bird is basically on God mode and is a complete badass and has some funny scenes. And the movie does a good job at killing off people that you wouldn't expect. The ending is not the greatest, but it, it was overall pretty good. I have to say this. I had the most spectacular two weeks leading up to this movie. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be an actor. I want to be a movie star. <laughs> and then I think I, I, want, I would like to be like that. I think... I do something the opposite, where I make everyone think I'm the star. It was a really fascinating. <laughs> but everyone weeks. that you have mentioned is super famous. Yeah. So it's like it's really, they can do that if they want to. You know, like it's it's yeah. it's nice of them that they go. I'm gonna put some of this out. It's you know? so. I'm, I'm, I say this critically as a friend, but it's so different than Joe's energy. <laughs> really. <laughs> And Joe's, I think, the most famous pe person. He's very famous. He's very Joe's famous. energy is so honest. It's crazy that like fame is like so weird mm. to watch it. Like I don't know why people don't like it. Because <laughs> it's it's cool when you you can make someone's day. Like you love fame. I don't know if I love. I I don't know. Feels like you love fame. I I enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy <laughs> it. Like, do you like it? Do us a solid. Do me a solid. I'm, I'm talking for me right now. Do me a solid. Go see this in the movie theaters. Then that will incentivize them to go, man, we really start should start making more of these. For me also, but I guarantee you, I, I mean, I know for a fact, Tom and I would like to do one. Yeah, I'd love to do one. And so, and and Tim Dillon would, and so would Andrew Schultz. We all want to all make movies. All these guys want to make movies. Triceps. So, Jesus Christ. Dude, my so, tries are... Yeah. From what it sounds like, Bert had no input in the movie, and instead was mainly the brains behind the marketing, and if it's true that he wants to put out more movies, I think he has to focus and work a lot harder on acting or else it's not going to work. And depending on how the movie keeps performing, it'll be evidence or proof that it's not the same formula when it comes to Hollywood movies as it is with uh, stand-up comedy tours and comedy specials. For this movie, at least, it felt more like Burr had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make a movie and he decided to make it about himself and how great he was and give himself the, the best role, the main role, when he wasn't ready for it. Because who knows, maybe the movie would have been better if he had somebody uh, play him instead of him acting. For example, the movie Get Out was written and directed by Jordan Peele, who previous to that was 
famously known for uh, his comedy skits with Key and Peele. He uh, wasn't even in the movie, and it wasn't a comedy movie, and they only had a four and a half million dollar budget, which is a quarter of what Burt had, and the movie has made over 250 million dollars, okay? In my opinion, that's the right way to make the movie. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Bird's movie keeps performing. Once again, if you like Bird or Tom, you'll enjoy the movie. It's a fun movie if you can get past uh, Bird's horrible acting. Um, but yeah, because of that, I'll give the movie a solid six. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you saw the movie, if you plan on seeing the movie, uh, leave a like, subscribe to support the channel dislike if you didn't like the, the video but that is all we have for today Whew. see ya